and uh, you know that without me saying anything. She is a, a person of character. She is passionate. She fights for the underdog. Uh, she is always there with her little doggies at home. It's always, you know, oh, this one, I rescued this one, I rescued this one. And, and it's the same philosophy. She wants to help in any way that she can. I first met, uh, well, I met Ronnie many, many years ago at OLA, Our Lady of the Assumption School, right here in Claremont. Our children went to school together. But I became involved in shoes that fit um, when Ronnie became the executive director and I was a uh, principal of um, a school in Pomona Unified School District. And um, I had, I was very fortunate to be the principal. Uh, the school uh, was a high achieving middle class uh, school in Pomona in the Phillips Ranch area. And uh, it's a great school, high API. And, uh, I thought, these kids have everything they want. They have never wanted for anything. They were just, oh, they were just so fortunate. And so we partnered, our school partnered with another school in the moment. The children were uh, more needy, really needy. And it was such a great thing because I always believed in giving to those less fortunate because we have so much. We have so much. And, and it's a great thing to teach children to give to others that are less fortunate. They don't know. You know, they've never wanted for anything and they don't know what it means to go without. So uh, we partnered with a, a school in Florida, like I said, and um, it just took off. It was a wonderful experience. Not only did we provide uh, uh, shoes for children in um, other schools in Pomona, but um, it taught our children something. It, it really did, that it is better to give than receive. And, and that's, a, that's an old saying, but I don't think it's been resurrected and it's in our forefront. It, it's, you know, I want, I want, I want. Um, but it, it gave these children the, the passion forgiving. And um, so, like I said, it, it took off and not only did our children embrace giving to other students, they collected coins, their own coins, their nickels, their dimes, their pennies, brought it in and, 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 and collected this money and gave it and bought shoes for children at another school. And um, our PTA, instead of doing the traditional uh, um, Christmas ornament exchange at Christmas time, you know, we spend $10 to do this, they all decided, let's just buy a pair of shoes for these kids. And it was so heartwarming. And that's what Christmas is really all about. So we ended up uh, delivering three vans of, of shoes to this particular school. And these children are so appreciative. It just it makes you cry. It makes you cry. There was one story where this uh, little boy was wearing um, his sister's Cinderella shoes to, to school. And um, of course, he was teased and chastised and chided. Um, but you know what? That's all he had when he came to school. And some kids don't even come to school because they don't have shoes or they don't have the right shoes or, uh, you know, the fashion label on them, which is so, so very sad. And like Ronnie was saying, the mission of Shoes That Fit is to provide shoes for children so that they can focus on their academics and not on their shoes and what they look like. So yeah, it is the season right now of, of giving, and it's the season of thankfulness. And so I would just like to say um, we're all very appreciative and thankful for what we have, but let's celebrate that by giving, giving to others, because that's that's the whole mission of Shoes Don't Fit and, and children are, are so very appreciative. So 
as a soulmate. I um, and soul is spelled S O L E, <laughs> but it does a heart and a soul good to give to others. So I, I hope you all become soulmates. It's very.